Math falsifies naturalistic mega-evolution, part two. In this video, we provide quotes from scientists from the symposium, Mathematical Challenges to the Neo-Darwinian Interpretation of Evolution. The symposium included biologists, physicists, and mathematicians from MIT, Harvard, University of Chicago, and the Nobel laureate Sir Peter Medawar. Math and logic show that naturalistic evolution does not work to create the higher taxa, kingdom, phylum, class, order. Note, we provide quotes from scientists who, as far as we know, do believe in evolution. However, they realize that math indicates that random chance and natural selection cannot create the complex functional information that we see in the genome, needed to create higher taxa such as kingdom, phylum, class, order. The symposium convened biologists and mathematicians to discuss mathematical issues with naturalistic evolution. These are issues that show that naturalistic mega-evolution does not work i.e., based on mathematics and logic, random chance, with or without natural selection, cannot create the entire biosphere. The issues brought up at this symposium, and mentioned below, have not been resolved by any form of naturalistic evolution, i.e., neo-Darwinism, the modern synthesis, and the extended synthesis. Quote 1. The immediate cause of this conference is a pretty widespread sense of dissatisfaction about what has come to be thought as the accepted evolutionary theory in the English-speaking world, the so-called neo-Darwinian theory. There are objections made by fellow scientists who feel that, in the current theory, something is missing. These objections to current neo-Darwinian theory are very widely held among biologists generally, and we must on no account, I think, make light of them. The very fact that we are having this conference is evidence that we are not making light of them. Scientist Dr. Peter Medawar, from remarks by the chairman in Mathematical Challenges to the neo-Darwinian interpretation of evolution. My comment, Note that Nobel laureate Dr. Peter Medawar is stating that there is widespread dissatisfaction with neo-Darwinian evolution among scientists, i.e., there is increasing awareness that neo-Darwinian mechanisms cannot create the complex functional information that we see in the genome, needed to create higher taxa such as kingdom, phylum, class, order. The situation has not changed. Neo-Darwinism and the modern synthesis and the extended synthesis are all in the same situation even today. None of their mechanisms can create the complex functional information that we see in the genome, needed to create higher taxa such as kingdom, phylum, class, order. Quote 2. An opposite way to look at the genotype is as a generative algorithm and not as a blueprint, a sort of carefully spelled out and foolproof recipe for producing a living organism of the right kind if the environment in which it develops is a proper one. Assuming this to be so, the algorithm must be written in some abstract language. Molecular biology may well have provided us with the alphabet of this language, but it is a long step from the alphabet to understanding a language. Nevertheless, a language has to have rules, and these are the strongest constraints on the set of possible messages. No currently existing formal language can tolerate random changes in the symbol sequences which express its sentences. Meaning is almost invariably destroyed. Any changes must be syntactically lawful ones. I would conjecture that what one might call genetic grammaticality does not owe its stability to selection pressure acting on random variation. Scientist Dr. Murray Eden, from Inadequacies as a Scientific Theory in Mathematical Challenges to the Neo-Darwinian Interpretation of Evolution. My comment, Dr. Eden is pointing out that living organisms have algorithms, written in DNA, in a formal language. Random changes to such languages destroy meaning. Such random changes do not create meaning. And so, the very core concept of Neo-Darwinism that random mutations and natural selection create meaning and instructions on how to improve creatures is false. Remember that in neo-Darwinism, random chance is the creator and natural selection is the destroyer. Natural selection does not create anything. Random chance does, according to neo-Darwinism. However, logic and math show that the core of neo-Darwinism is false. The modern synthesis and the extended synthesis do not add anything that can solve this problem. Conclusion. Math and logic show that naturalistic evolution, neo-Darwinism, does not work for anything other than microevolution to adapt a species to its environment. In general, neo-Darwinism is not capable of creating the meaningful functional information needed for biological higher taxa, such as kingdom, phylum, class, order. This core problem with neo-Darwinism has not been solved by any mechanism in the modern synthesis or the extended synthesis. No form of naturalistic mega-evolution is able to create the meaningful functional information needed to create the biological higher taxa, 
i.e., kingdom, phylum, class, order. It requires intelligent design to create such meaningful functional information. We will discuss this further in future videos. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.